Yellow Diamond or Blue Diamond? Whose side are you on? Snag a tier hoodie from our store. Link in the description. Refusing to get caught up in another gem war, Lapis Lazuli has flipped the planet and took the barn with her, going off somewhere into space. So now the fans all have a pretty reasonable question running through their minds. Where did Lapis go? How is Steven going to find her, if he even bothers to? Let's talk about that today on Crystal Clear. Welcome back to Crystal Clear on the Roundtable. I'm Austrick Voss, and let's talk about Lapis Lazuli. Definitely one of the more controversial characters amongst the entire fandom, the future of Lapis' character arc is definitely an interesting one. The last we see in the character, she basically said, Fuck this shit, I'm out. And ran away into space. Taking the barn with her, even though she didn't really want the barn, Peridot wanted the barn, she was like, hey, uh, you know, I have all my stuff here, and Lapis is like, okay, we'll just take the barn, and then Peridot was like, oh, I don't want to leave, and then Lapis, Lapis went with the, with the barn, even though, yeah, that, that's, uh, why did you do that, Lapis? What, what, why, 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 why? Now, some fans believe Lapis is gone for good, even though that's clearly not the case, because there are pictures of recording sessions of future episodes with Jennifer Paz in the booth. And spoiler alert, but these are probably season 5 episodes, so we know Lapis is going to come back within like less than 10 episodes, if that. The Crystal Gems don't have a way into space. Only Steven does through Lion and Lars. So even if they wanted to find Lapis, at this current point in time, they'd be hard pressed to do so. But that brings up the fact that they have not shown interest in actively searching for her. They've gone their separate ways, so how in the hell is she going to come back into the story? Well, we have to take a step back and recognize that whatever happens with Lapis, for her to get involved in the story again, we're going to have to see a change from her. She's going to have to take initiative and recognize that she wants to do this, that she wants to fight for Earth and alongside Steven and the Crystal Gems. Yet, without even knowing where she is, how is that going to happen? Well, I'd like to call back to the episode Chile did. You know, the episode where Steven was having constant dreams of Lapis, trying to figure out where in the hell she is? Ever since the events of Malachi, Lapis has began to indulge in naps. Even out in space, I feel like that may not change. Now, we don't know the limits of Steven's empathy powers and how far they can reach people. Lapis was all the way at the bottom of the ocean and Blue Diamond was all the way in Korea, while someone asked Kiki was only a few miles away. To make a long story short, I believe his powers completely rely on plot convenience. Short and sweet. They'll reach as far and wide as the plot demands it to be. It's a writing device I like to call Superman Syndrome. A character and their powers are as strong as their plot requires them to be. Now Lapis thinks everything will just be fine and dandy with her out in space, and they might be. Until Navy reclaimed the ship, the rubies were just floating throughout space for what we can assume was months upon months. Absolutely helpless. Yet for the sake of plot advancement and convenience, let's say Lapis gets caught or is in some sort of danger and Steven begins to have dreams of Lapis. His empathy powers kick into high gear, and he's like, guys, I think Lapis is in trouble. We need to figure out a way to help her. And every time he falls asleep, he's able to reconnect with her, figure out where she is, how severe the situation is. And once he finally reunites with her, they fight side by side and get themselves out of the pickle they're in. Now, even though I proposed this idea and it would be a really nice callback and consistency with Steven's connection with Lapis and his powers, this would also require Lapis to be a prisoner again. So even though I could see it, I don't necessarily vibe with it. Another scenario is something I've already theorized before. Stevani crash lands on a mysterious gem planet at the end of Lars of the Stars. On this gem planet is, where do you know? Lapis in the barn. This is where she ran away to. Am I necessarily opposed to this idea? Not at all. But would that be the smartest thing for Lapis? For Emerald and her forces to track down Lars, that means they're probably not too far from Homeworld. At the very least, they could still be in the same solar system, which I'm sure we'll get an answer on in the actual episode. I don't want to talk ish about Lapis, but it seems pretty counterproductive to leave Earth to get away from the diamonds, only to seek refuge in the same solar system their main base of operations is. You're begging to get caught at that point, girl. Yet, yeah, I would still enjoy this. I would like Stevani or Steven and Connie to be in a situation where they're prisoner and Lapis has to be the one that intervenes. That for once, Lapis is the one breaking the prisoner out. And for that prisoner to be Steven, not only is that an excellent role reversal, but that way it makes sense Lapis would want to be involved. She cares about Steven and Peridot immensely. And even though the refusal to leave Earth didn't sway her mind, I feel like them actually being in trouble would be the last straw and cause her to spring into action. However, there is one thing I'd like to mention. Lapis didn't just leave Steven, she left Peridot as well. Therefore, I don't know how I'd feel if Peridot was absent when Steven reunites with Lapis, wherever they meet. Also, I feel like Lapis taking the barn to space was actually a plot device for when Steven does find her. You'd be pretty hard-pressed to miss a giant barn floating in the midst of space. 
But at the end of the day, no matter what happens, not only does the decision Lapis will have to make on her own, the only she can come to, a decision no one else can make for her, but just because she wants to fight with Steven doesn't mean she's going to become a crystal gem. For her to become a crystal gem means she would finally have to talk to Garnet, Amethyst, and especially Pearl. Figure out why did you just keep me trapped in your head for thousands of years? Why did you never take me out the mirror? That's a conversation they're definitely going to need to have. This is very likely to happen, considering we have this picture of the recording booth of all the main gems together. I imagine this is likely the season 5 finale, meaning they all will come together as a team very, very soon. We're almost halfway through season 5, meaning although I do think we'll get some more BCD episodes like 2, 3, maybe 4, expect to be on the edge of your seat for the remainder of this season. But as always, what are your thoughts? How do you think Steven will reunite with Lapis? Do you think she'll actually become a crystal gem? Her grudge against them has been a recurring theme since day one, since the very moment she was pulled out of the mirror. Let's get discussion going. Comment your thoughts down below or tune directly to me at Osher Thoughts. You can also follow the Roundtable on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Roundtable Vids, and on Snapchat at Roundtable YT. Stay in touch with our videos and get a glimpse of our daily shenanigans. We also have a Discord, official Amino app, and Patreon. Links to everything in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please order a like, share it with your friends, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, it really helps us out. Hit that bell for notifications so you can stay in the loop with all things Steven. I hope you have a beautiful day. And Ostrich Vots, signing out.